everyone. Uh, so this morning we've come into Gangtok proper to a sort of mall area called MG Marg to try and sort out those permits that we didn't get a chance to do yesterday for the um, restricted restricted area in North Sikkim. So yeah, I think we're just going to try and find a travel operator or something like that, go and hit them up and yeah, see how we go. <laughs> So we just went to see the guys at Batman Tours and Travel. Um, they've told us that we can't get the permit and ride ourselves, so we have to go in a tour group, um, which is pretty expensive. So we might just go and ask a few other places. Otherwise, yeah, I probably have to think about um, doing a tour, but it is 13,000 rupees which is 260 odd dollars so yeah we'll just um we'll see how we go Hello? cool so we wandered off the um main mall a little bit came down here and found this little travel agency here and it looks like we might be on to a winner we will have to take a guide with us he'll sit on the back of my motorbike if at all works out but it looks like we should be able to do a motorbike tour up into North Sikkim. He's just making a few calls so fingers crossed it all works out and we can head to North Sikkim tomorrow. Alright so we just had a bite to eat while we enjoyed that view. We're still waiting for a call back about uh, getting these permits and the guide to take the motorbike up north. So while we're doing that, we thought we'd head to the Himalayan Zoological Park. I'm usually a little bit skeptical of zoos after a really bad experience with one in Thailand, but after doing a bit of reading on this one, it actually sounds pretty good. It sounds like all the animals have their like decent sized enclosures that sort of mimic their natural habitat and there's like red pandas and I don't know, a bunch of other animals that I can't remember what they are but they all sounded cool so we're gonna go check that out and yeah. Nice one, so we've arrived at the Himalayan Zoological Park. It's got a couple of tickets from down there. I've just wandered up to have a look at a map of it and it looks, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. Looks like there's a bit of a road that sort of goes around the park. And then you can see there's the different enclosures. So we've got some sort of cool looking bear there, deer or elk or something, birds, a sheep looking thing. Glad we've got the motorbikes. I did read that, um. Yeah, it's a fair walk between the enclosure, so on the bikes it should make it a bit quicker, but yeah, really looking forward to this now. So that was Kali, 
uh, which actually means the black in the local language. Uh, he's 10 years old. Uh, here in the zoo he eats apples, sugarcane, carrots, papaya. Um, his favorite is apple. Uh, he was brought to the zoo because he was um, going down into the town and getting into the market so the locals called the guys here and they went and um, rescued him from the from the town um, so yeah that was super cool that's the first bear I've ever actually seen and to be able to yeah just see him in his you know pretty much a natural habitat environment you saw how big the enclosure was had plenty of foliage to sort of hang out in and eat he eats the wild bamboo in there as well so yeah that was awesome I can't wait to see some of the uh, other enclosures So we're here at the enclosure of the, the red pandas and there's three in that tree there just chilling out. Uh, the red panda is native to eastern Himalayas, Sikkim, West Bengal, South, I think southwestern China, Tibet and Bhutan. They're pretty cool little dudes. Back. Oh, yes. All right, so that's a baby goral. Yeah, it's a baby goral. And it was born today, today yeah. about 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, almost 10 a.m. Yeah. yeah. So nice cool. Yeah. Very, very lucky. Wow. 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 Beautiful just even walking around here in the in the park. It's just these little pathways through all this native vegetation. It's very dense, it's quiet. You can hear birds in the trees, other animals scurrying around. And the last stop on our little wander around the Himalayan Zoological Park. The most delicious of all the Himalayan creatures, the yak. All right, so our man here has sorted us out. Uh, we'll be able to take our own bikes. Um, we'll be leaving the day after tomorrow, doing two nights three days up in North Sikkim so it's gonna be amazing we've been chatting to a few people today and they've said you know definitely try and get to North Sikkim if you can so yeah we'll um we have to take a guide with us so he'll jump on the back of my bike but yeah it's a goer
So that's yeah, awesome news.